All right, so here we have a 2005 Chevy Tahoe. Uh, we're gonna be replacing the rotors and brake pads today. Uh, the reason we're gonna replace uh, the rotors and is because it has a pulsation. So it, they've been heated up so much that when you come to a stop, your brake pedal is pulsating. That, this is uh, the rotor is what causes that. All right, so we wanna first remove our caliber. So we have some T55 uh, bolts, uh, top and bottom. We'll go ahead and take those off. I'm going to go in here with a little screwdriver and push back uh, the brake pad uh, to, to you know, squish the piston back because I, because I can't really remove it like this. Oh, well, again, but it's caught in the groove. I'm going to go ahead and loosen that up with a flat head. All right, so I'm just going to use this pry bar. I'm going to get right in the vent of the rotor and then wedge the caliper the other way. Set our caliper off to the side. All right, so you can tell our slides were not working very well here. The pad is not wearing uh, evenly. The outer and the inner are different. That has to do with your slide. All right, so I'm using an 18 millimeter on our caliper bolts. Go ahead and remove them. All right, now we can remove our rotor. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and wire brush this all off. Uh, sometimes a pulsation will happen because of the rust buildup. It's just not sitting flush. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and clean it up a little bit just to make sure that there's no issues. All right, so here we have our new rotor that we got from Auto Parts Direct U. I'm going to go ahead and clean it up with some brake clean uh, to take off of the, it's like a soapy film to keep it from rusting while it's uh, shelf life. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and reinstall our caliper bracket. I'm going to go ahead and remove our, our hardware here. I'm going to go ahead and hit it with a wire brush. All right, so here we have our new slides. This one, this pad has two squealers on it. This pad, this pad has one squealer on it. All right, so what we need to do, uh, this squealer is not clearing the back here. All right, so we're going to put squealer down on that pad, the dual on this side. All right, now we need to push our piston back. All right, so they make tools uh, to do this kind of stuff. Uh, we have some other videos where I use a tool. I'm gonna use the, uh, the thinner of the pad so I can press them both back at the same time. I'm just gonna use a big set of channel locks.
All right, so when we put our caliper back on, we want to make sure there's no twist in our brake hose. All right, so we're all set with this side. We'll go ahead and do the other side now. All right, so now that we got this side done, we'll go ahead and put the tires on. Uh, the one thing that we need to do before we put it in drive is we need to pump the brakes a couple times uh, to make contacts. Because if you don't and you drive off, you'll be scrambling to hit that pedal to brake. Um, so we'll go ahead and pump it, and then we'll take it for a test drive. <laughs> 